What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a custom gauge for the 1999 through 02 Chevy Silverado. So let's get to it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is going to pull the steering wheel, tilt the steering wheel all the way down. Uh, pop the bezel off with your hands around the corner. You're going to turn the truck on. Pull that gear lever all the way down and take the bezel up. Next, you're gonna put it back in park and then cut the truck off. Then you're gonna locate the four bolts on each corner of the gauge cluster. So one, one down there, two, three, and four. You're gonna remove those out with the seven millimeter socket wrench and extension. So get that done. Once you get those four bolts loose, I'm gonna turn the truck on again, put it in uh, drive, and tilt this forward. But before I do that, let's take a look at the gauge. So we have a black background, orange stock needles, and LEDs, which those are nice. We're gonna keep those. And let's look at our emergency lights. So they're still green. So yeah, let's take a look at all the messages, colors. All right. There we go. So then we're just gonna tilt this bezel forward. And you should be able to unplug it from the back. Back here, right here. Put your fingers on it, pinch it, and it should pull off. Like that. So yeah, let's work on the bezel, I mean on the gauge cluster now. All right, so now that we have our cluster out, so let's see what we're gonna be doing to it. So we're gonna be installing a aftermarket Escalade uh, face lens, or lens for it, cover. So we're gonna have that. In this other box, we have the US Speedo face lens. I put the links to all these in the description. So we're going to be doing that. Let's see what else we got here. We have a set of aftermarket. Uh, clear lens needles to give that red face a nice glow to it so it should look good with those and we also have new LEDs for the turn signals and whatever other lights could possibly fit since we already have LEDs we don't need no more LEDs for the rest of it so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing to it. So let's get to it. All right, so we're on the back of the cluster to install the LEDs first. We're just gonna take off this back plate using a flathead screwdriver to pry off those little tabs in the corners right here. You know, you can just tell where they're at. So we're gonna do that. All right, so once you pry off the corners, you should be able to take the cover off. So looking at the back, if you wanna Install LEDs. These are all just twist on uh, lock sockets. So you can just twist them on or use uh, some pliers. So we're going to be doing the small ones, which are the turn signals and the little, you know, random lights on there. So for that, you're going to need uh, some pliers. So we're going to take them out, twisting it, and they should come off. And we're going to install our new ones. So I'm going to get that done. And we're going to move on to the fun part. Quick note before I finish up. Uh, it's a good idea to do one by one testing. Especially on the bigger LEDs. Because you don't want to uh, have everything put back together. And one light not work out of nowhere. So make sure you do test each light before you uh, put it all back together. So, yeah. right, so once you get the back done and get it put back together, we're going to move to the front. So 
First, you're gonna locate these little uh, tabs right here. So you're just gonna push them forward like that and slowly turn it around and the cover should lens should come right off like so so i'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna get to work on our face plate so looking here we got the us speedo face plate it's red let's take it out the package here it is <clears throat> and it also comes with a a needle removal tool so, <clears throat> so first we're going to take our needle removal tool and slow, gently pry underneath the needle and pull it off like that so you can repeat the process on the other ones. Got that step done, so let's move on. Next step is to remove the black background. So you're gonna take your time with it and it should slowly pry it off. Which way, where's it at? You also got to take off these little black tabs I didn't notice. So, oops. See them right here? There we go. Move it carefully and set it to the side. Save it for later in case you ever sell your truck and want to, you know, somehow keep the old face or something. Okay. So now we have the blank canvas right here. Right now, if you want to replace your stepper motors or whatever, I think, I think you can do it from right here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so now we're on to the hardest part to me. So now we're gonna take off the back plate, the, you know, the back sticky part, and you're gonna wanna align it right. So that's where you're gonna take your time with it. That's the most important part, the one that you don't wanna mess up on. So let's do that. Okay, here we're taking off the back adhesive. So now we're gonna slowly place it on there. Align it, take your time. So now we're just gonna apply pressure i'm gonna go put a glove on real quick like i should have in the first place give me a second okay so i'm gonna apply pressure and get it on there with the little credit card take your time
I don't even know if this is the right way I'm doing it, but I'm, I'm just pressing on it to get adhesive on there. Especially the corners. You know, if it gets too hot outside one day, you don't want the start, things to start peeling off. Also, don't forget to put these little um, little clips back using little pliers because they are hard to get on. All right, so I got the needles installed too. And wow, look how good it looks, guys. Look at that. That looks really good. Can't wait to try it on. Uh, so now we're going to install the lens. I'm pretty much ready to get this over with, guys. But um, had a light lens. We're gonna line up the the little hole of the uh, little button here, and we're slowly gonna put it on there. Alright, so I have the needles and the lens put on. So it's pretty straightforward on the um, lens. Now, since this is a uh, 99 Silverado, Silver dang, Silverado, and the lens is off a Cadillac with the mess, um, with the regular little message thing right here. Um, and not the trans temp trans temperature. This little red will overlap on the very top and right here. If you can see it, see a little black little curve, and that that's because it's not made to fit this uh, cluster. But if you can deal with it, that's good for you. I just think the little gray outline looks way better, so that's why I did it. I still have the plastic film on there. So let's take that off. And there it is. Look at that. Like I said right here, if you can deal with that, it's good for you. But if not, then don't get this lens. So yeah, let's go try it on. And take a look at the results. All right, so I got it installed right here. Looks pretty good. I like it. I like the little rings. So yeah, if you can do it with that little um, overlay right there in the red, uh, you'll be all right. And you know, that perfectly centered circle right there, so. That's the only downside to installing that Escalade faceplate. So let's turn it on. So you can see red everywhere with the white needles. You can't really tell on camera, but they're glowing white. Let's see, red, red uh, display right there. Looking good. Them out. So I will. I did replace these little LEDs right here, but it just made them brighter. I thought that would, uh, you know, change the uh, the color of them to white. But I don't know what I have to do there to make that happen. I don't know. We'll do a later video later on that. I think it's just green on the back right there. So yeah, there it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Here's one last 
video of it at night time. Looks pretty good, guys. 